Is it just the fan? The RGB has already died. There's no goes RGB on, goes on, on this. for one second. You guys noticed? What is this push-pull configuration? Oh, yeah, what is this? Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we're checking out a Lenovo special that we got off of eBay that's supposed to have a really nice i5 and a 1660 Super. eBay has a lot of random discount days where you can get pre-built like this at a pretty steep discount. Pick this one up for $1,000. And if it is everything it says it is, it could be a really, really good deal. But before we dive into this uh, PC unboxing, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by GVG Mall, an online marketplace to gain access to some really awesome discounted game keys, and more specifically, Windows 10 licenses. Make sure you use code TB20 at checkout to get 20% off your purchase, and it's really easy to activate Windows. All you have to do is take that product key they send you, literally copy and paste it, click activate, and boom, you have Windows 10 Pro activated, ready to go. Link in the description down below will link you to Windows 10, use TB20, save some money, activate Windows. Don't let friends use unactivated Windows. It's not good. Don't let it happen. Goodbye. All right, have to get a big shout out to uh, Zach, which I don't think he's even here anymore. He actually does some hunting for stuff for PC bros and stumbled across this deal um, and said, you know what, might as well do a video about it. So we pulled the trigger, we have it here. And of course, in traditional Toasty Bros fashion, we're just gonna unbox it, see what it looks like, look at the internals, the cable management, things like that, and then just do some testing. So yeah, got anything else to add? No. No. <laughs> Let's open it. Let's open it. You know what? I'm going to open it this time. No. Yeah. No. I don't it's want you to struggle with a heavy box I don't know. It's been again. a while since you've opened something. Yeah. Do you even know how anymore? I don't know what to do. Okay. So we're going to open this thing up. Once again, this is an eBay special and we are using the very appropriate knife for this unboxing. Um, the one thing is we like to do these uh, pre-built videos where we look at the best pre-builds for certain prices from different websites. We've done eBay, we've done Amazon, we've done Newegg. Uh, but the one thing we haven't done is taking a look at Lenovo pre-builds. We've done Lenovo laptops, but not their desktops. This is a Lenovo Legion, which should be coming with an i5 10400F and a 1660 Super and at $1,000, given the current market, that's actually a pretty good deal. This thing is so dull. Why do you even use it? <laughs> I, I try not it's, to. It's just pretty awful. Um, <laughs> of course, so yeah. that's why we need the Katana. So Katana, guys, let us know down below if you still want a Katana. Um, so we're gonna open this from the top here, and hopefully this thing isn't super heavy. I have a feeling it's gonna need to be done off the table. That's how I prefer it. Can we legally own a Katana? Is that a thing? I don't know. Someone let us know down below. So this thing is, I think this is a refurb. I could be wrong. Let's look at this FedEx slip, see if it says anything. It's either refurb, is it refurb? It's a manufacturer certified refurbished because okay. it's not in any sort of original packaging. It's literally just wrapped in bubble wrap sitting in here. So um, as you can see, that's Lenovo. what we got. Lenovo. So we're going to lift this thing up. It has like a little handle right here. That's actually kind of convenient <laughs> for this. Um, so here it is, the Lenovo Legion Tower. Um, it looks like we have a graphics card, so Ooh. that's a good start. And it even has looks a sticker nice. on it that says refurbished. So yeah, it's refurbished. Nice. Um, so we'll go ahead and open this thing up. Actually, you know what? We gotta see what else is in the box. We can't dive into the computer just yet. Looks like we got a keyboard that's wrapped in bubble wrap. And then we have a mouse and power cord. So usual stuff. Everything else is just packing material. So nothing far from the traditional for a, a pre-built PC. It still has the peel all over it. It does too. have the peel and everything. So good on Lenovo for doing that. So it looks like it comes off with these like standard PC case thumb screws. Doesn't have any sort of fancy way of coming off. So we're just gonna go ahead and unscrew these and slide off that side panel and reveal what, what looks like a pretty normal PC build. It's the weirdest side panel It is, is very seen. weird. Yeah, they didn't like paint the inside of it, so whatever. Um, so what we have right here is the i5-10400F. Looks like dual channel, 16 gigs. We have a 256 gig SSD, and I believe a one terabyte hard drive, which is in one of these slots, not that the one. Bottom. This one will actually come out. Probably plugged in with SATA in the back of the Okay, it's in there, trust yeah. me. We have an FSP power supply, which is a good brand choice. I really like that. And it looks like we have uh, 400 watts. plus gold too. So 400 Ooh. watts, 80 plus gold. Um, perfectly fine for this sort of build. You're not gonna wanna upgrade to a super high end graph skirt or anything, but it will do the job. Um, I do like the fact that this actually has good intake, sort of, not really. So it has like a little bit of a grill right here. So it's a little bit better than ones we've seen from Dell that are like totally closed off. The one thing I will have to test and see is if this i5 will be perfectly fine with this cooler. It is an i5, it is lower powering, and it just looks very similar to like an Intel stock cooler. And we've done plenty of i5 10 
engine builds with stock coolers and they work perfectly fine. So I imagine it's gonna be good, but um, yeah, 1660 Super, just the traditional OEM one, it's pretty small. Is this one that can actually, looks like it can take off the backside panel, but there really isn't yeah. a whole lot of room back there. You also get Wi-Fi and Bluetooth with this. So, you know, I mean, that's pretty typical if any uh, pre-built from a, a company like this. So that's always a nice feature to have. All right, so this coming off actually looks that's pretty actually nice. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, so it looks like, I'm, I don't know if this Black is like a, cables, a USB three pin, hub. Three pin RGB. Yeah, so there must be some sort of RGB in so here. That means you can actually like add, dude, do we gotta add an LED strip to this? We could, and if we have an RGB strip, we could slap oh, it in there. Oh we'll yeah, just, we have some. So we'll, we'll power this on first and see what it looks like. If I can actually slide this side panel back on. You know what, we're leaving it off for now because it's just taking too long. I mean, how else are we gonna add the LEDs, Yeah, right? exactly. So um, we'll go ahead and plug this thing up and make sure it actually boots and see what that RGB looks like. There's no there's RGB on, on, on this. for one second. You know, I just noticed. What is this push-pull configuration? Oh, yeah, what is this? Okay, her, hold up. We have a little weird fan configuration here, so. Is that for a reason? I have a feeling that was a mistake. Because I, I don't, uh, unless you know down below why this would be like a thing you would do, having an exhaust and an intake. Maybe we'll have to look at Lenovo's website and see if there's other, because I mean, you know, it could be a manufacturing thing where they found out airflow is better. It's where the, the RGB was on and it turned off. So I'm is trying- Is it software controlled maybe? Maybe, I'm trying to find where that cable's going. So this is coming from the fan, I believe. It goes down, that's the Wi-Fi. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't see any cable coming from right here. So, and there's nothing actually plugged into the RGB hub. So I, I'm not sure. Like, it, unless this is it. Is a SATA. It's a very good question. This is the only thing with three pin that's actually plugged in. The SATA power is there. So, I'm not sure. So what we're gonna do is probably just take a look at this a little bit more and then we'll come back to it. But um, yeah, so far first impressions, it looks okay, kind of weird about the fan configuration. That might just be a refurb defect issue. Um, that's why it was refurbed. That's why it was refurbed because of the fan configuration. But let's look at this real quick and then we'll come back to you. Okay, so we got it plugged up and we figured out that it really just needed to have the software like turned on to actually enable the lighting. And there is like built in like LED strip lighting. No um, more strip. Yeah, not, it's that's like, the decision. Yeah, no strip. So we were gonna add a strip, but now there's built in lighting, so it, it works. Um, and the RGB fan in the back does get kind of like drowned out by like <laughs> that lighting. So you can kind of tell it's RGB, but not really. Um, and we're still not totally sure about this fan configuration. We're just gonna leave it as is because that's just how we got it. And we're gonna do testing that way. And if we feel like it's dumb, we might change it before we actually do something with this computer. But I would say for the most part, it's up and running. The RGB works, sort of. And uh, now it's just a matter of seeing if it can actually game. So let's do that. Let's do it. All right, guys, now that we have this Lenovo pre-built PC all booted up and ready to go, let's talk about a couple benchmarks real quick. So we decided to test this PC in a couple of titles, those being Call of Duty Cold War, Apex Legends, Forza Horizon 4, Borderlands 3, and Splitgate. First up in Call of Duty Cold War on a mixture of medium high settings at 1080p, we averaged about 80 to 100 FPS. This was our first look at the temperature performance of this PC, because we all know a 1660 Super and an i5 is going to work perfectly fine, it's just a matter of is this system going to be able to keep those components cool and from first glance it looks like it's working fine 71c on the cpu and 69c on the gpu when playing call of duty cold war on medium high settings the performance speaks for itself this combination is an absolutely great 1080p uh pretty much max settings gaming pc um a 1660 super could play pretty much anything you throw at it at least 60 fps and in esports titles you'll be able to get well over 100 plus for a good high refresh rate experience there is one caveat with the temperature issue which may not be a temperature issue at all it may actually be to do with the Lenovo motherboard but that i5 10400 is not going all the way up to its 4.3 gigahertz boost which we'll see later on in the rest of the benchmarks it kind of just stayed at 4 gigahertz which is not the end of the world 300 megahertz is not going to be the difference between a great gaming experience and a horrible gaming experience but just seeing that be a little bit lower than it should be does give me some concern that the cooling on this is not allowing it to boost as high as it needs to Next up in Apex Legends on max settings at 1080p, we averaged 100 plus FPS. The GPU did get a little bit hotter in this test. We were looking a little bit into the 73 degrees Celsius range, but that's well within normal operating temperature, especially for an OEM graphics card. 
That CPU was still running at 4 GHz, but once again, the, the performance difference between 4 and 4.3 is maybe a couple frames here and there in CPU dependent games, so it's nothing to really stress about. Next up in Forza Horizon 4 on ultra settings using the built-in benchmark, we averaged 113 FPS. Forza Horizon 4 is our built-in benchmark racing game of choice. If you guys have any suggestions for other games, let us know down below. We're always looking to update our benchmark rotation whenever we have new games we want to add. And getting over 100 FPS at 1080p is just awesome. You could easily play at 1440p if you want a more visually appealing experience and get like, I would say like 70 to 80 FPS, I would have to guess on ultra settings. And that would go for most of these games out there. Besides Borderlands 3, which is the next game we were testing, on ultra settings at 1080p, we average 64 FPS. Borderlands 3 is our AAA benchmark of choice. It really stresses that 1660 Super and shows that you could get a better GPU with the 10400 at some point in the future. I would imagine this thing is pretty easy to upgrade to let's say like an i7 10 700 and maybe slap in a 3060 or 3070 in there and you probably would get some good performance the only limiting factor would be that power supply so you should probably just ignore everything i just said and only get a 3060 and an i7 because the power requirements probably would limit you from going much higher than that and last but certainly not least, Splitgate, our esports title of choice on max settings at 1080p. We got 200 plus FPS, sometimes in the 300s. If you're playing Fortnite, Rainbow Six Siege, Rocket League, Valorant, or Splitgate, you'll have no problems having a great high refresh rate gaming experience with the i5 10400. 10 Gen Intel still has really good IPC, and I see no problems whatsoever with this thing running at 4 gigahertz and still getting very high frame rates for a very good competitive gaming experience. So in recap, I really think this is one of the best pre built on the market. We love the HP pavilions because they deliver a lot of value for the money, but there are some concerns about cooling with those things. And also there's no RGB, it's just a constant green glow. These Lenovo's come with some RGB, they have pretty good thermals, and they do go on sale pretty regularly through programs like eBay or through Lenovo's websites. Now I can't guarantee you're gonna be able to find this thing at the exact price that we paid, but if you check the link in the description down below, it'll take you to eBay where we purchased it and you could kind of keep an eye on these pre-builds but I really think it's a good value if you could find one of these things and if you can find one with slightly higher specs and the same just general case and configuration I think it will run perfectly cool for most PC configurations so now that we finished the benchmarking section of today's video how to bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick all right guys, so we just got done benchmarking this PC and in all honesty, we've done many builds like this. So you probably had a general idea that this will play pretty much any game at 1080p, sometimes lower medium settings, but for the most part, this can even handle higher settings on even some AAA titles. Most of the concerns people have with pre-builds like this is cooling because sometimes they're just not very good for airflow. This one actually performs very well. I'm still not totally sure if the fan like set up in the front was actually intentional, but the, mo the highest temperature we actually saw was like 70 degrees Celsius which is more than adequate for a PC build, especially one like this. So I give it a seal of approval. It works great. I'm not going to say you're going to be able to find this exact deal right now if you go on eBay, but eBay does a lot of sales on pre-built towers. So definitely use the link in the description down below, being an affiliate link, it'll help us out. And always look up different pre-built deals from Lenovo, HP, all those other brands. You're bound to find a pretty good deal out there somewhere. So as always, we appreciate you guys watching today's video. If you liked it, make sure you check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toaster Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And you want to know a fun fact? Since we just used this in a video, we are probably going to resell it on our website for about what we paid for it. PCBros.tech is our PC selling business. We have custom PCs. We have builds like this. A lot of cool tech. So check out our website if you want to buy stuff from us. PCBros.tech. See you guys later. Goodbye.